Hello, my name is Dr. Peter Brown. I'm a veterinarian from Chuckanut Valley Veterinary Clinic located in Burlington, Washington, about an hour north of Seattle. Today we're going to talk about how to treat a dog's blister. So blisters in dogs aren't nearly as common as they are in people, but they do occur. It's usually associated with some sort of rubbing, either from their collar, from a harness that they might have, um, from maybe getting wrapped around with a rope or getting caught up with something. It's usually something physical from the outside that causes a rubbing and an injury, just like a blister in our, our feet when our shoes don't fit properly that way. The first and the most important part of that blister is removing whatever initially caused it. So if there's a collar that's not fitting properly, um, maybe it's too tight, um, maybe it's gotten wet and it's shrunk, removing that collar and removing the source of what that was causing that blister. Um, removing some of the hair around the area so it doesn't stick to the blister. That can either be done with clippers or it can be done with some scissors just so the hair doesn't fall into the blister area and stick to the sore that's there. And then if appropriate, um, we will often bandage it um, to one, prevent them from looking at it and prevent environmental contamination. Um, that can be done even around their neck if it's a blister that's formed from their collar. Sometimes I will use a little bit of Vaseline over the top of the blister also, just to prevent any friction into that area. So let's say that Lily had a blister here because the collar wasn't fitting properly. First thing would be to go ahead and remove that collar off of her that was causing it. Then I might take and trim some of the hair away from that blistered area. And then we could go ahead and just provide a light bandage over, over the blister using something like a cotton wrap around here and being very careful whether it's around their neck or around their foot that we don't put this on too tight. Um, but it provides some protection onto there. And then to hold it into place, we'll usually use something like um, a Coflex or Vet Wrap um, that sticks upon itself. This is where we need to be very careful it's not too tight. Um, we don't want this to be uncomfortable for them or if it's around a limb, we don't want it to restrict circulation. Usually I will just go ahead and, and pull that out and then lightly wrap it around. Really the purpose here is to hold things into place. It's not for compression. And then once we are done with that, go around a few times, either tear it or cut it at that point just to provide some protection. If the blister is, is discharging very much um, liquid, whether it's blood or other fluids, if it seems especially painful for them, or if it's not resolving within a few days, um, an appointment to your veterinarian would be highly recommended. There might need to be systemic medications given to help prevent, the, um, prevent infection or further worsening of the blister. Once again, my name is Peter Brown. I want to thank you for listening today about how to treat your dog's blister. Thank you.